I'm Jeff Templey, I run Eat My Pasty, I run Templey's Food Truck, and I run Allied Window Cleaning. My name is Chrissy Brady, I'm General Manager for Jeff and Stacey at Templey's British Eatery and Eat My Pasty. So I've been visiting Panama City for, well, since like 1985, I think. I've got friends that were stationed in the US Air Force with their parents. We've been friends since we were 13. My name is Tom Brady. I'm from Panama City Beach, Florida. I'm a military brat. That's how I met Jeff in uh, 1985. And then I first came over here, I think it was about 18, 19, spent the whole summer here. And then I did that two or three times. Um, we've stayed friends over the years. I think my first two or three weeks living in England, I, I met Jeff in some wheat field and then we were riding a motorcycle so I stopped and talked to him and uh, just became friends ever since. And uh, by the time I came here in 2012, I, um, I brought the wife here. She fell in love with it in a week. Me and Tom and Dave and the boys were all, all ready to have, we'll show her everything and try and get her onto it, see if she wants to move it. So that was the cunning plan. And uh, she fell for it within a week. She said, oh, I love it. She goes, well, well, look, if you're serious, we could do it. Well, first of all, when he said he's going to move to Florida, he said he was going to be a window cleaner. I'm the owner of Alloy Window Cleaning, and I am here in Panama City in Florida. So he stayed at my house for about, what, six months, you think, or a yeah, year? six months. Six months to a year until he got the business up and going. So I spent the best part of the first 18 months, two years, trying to build it up. Then it went into painting services, and when people realized I was a builder, I was getting all kinds of jobs and just got stupid busy. Then he brought his whole family over here, and then uh, he decided to make pasties and sell them at the food market. And uh, it just yeah. took off from there. But what were you really thinking, though? I thought he was nuts. <laughs> but. Uh, I thinking about the windy cleaning, even. I thought he was crazy about that. But it, everything he does, it just turns to money. Then we went on to doing the farmers markets on the weekend just for a bit of fun. And uh, I've never made pasties before. I just, uh, Gordon Ramsay taught me how to make a pastry two, two and a half minutes on YouTube. So it um, turns out we was pretty good at it and it was better than anything we'd had at home. So we started doing that at the farmer's market, seaside, uh, watercolor, and um, it just blew up. The apple, pork apple. Oh my gosh, I'm all on it for breakfast every Saturday. <laughs> so good. You'll have to take a bunch with you. I thought he was a little crazy open up the restaurant because uh, knowing how restaurants work, it's just a little weird, it's strange that I'm afraid it was going to fail, but. Well, Jeff is actually a family friend. He and my husband have been friends since they were like 13, 14 years old. And he and the family came over on vacation five, six years ago. And that's the first time I met him. And then Jeff actually stayed with my husband and I while he was setting up his window cleaning business and then he brought the family over. They uh, started selling pasties at farmers markets and everything. Then they opened a restaurant. Uh, the first day when our grand opening we got slammed. I mean the kitchen went down. Oh, I sold my work for a few hours. I was there like eight hours. Yeah. Uh, and I, I didn't leave the fryer for eight hours. Every table inside, every table yeah, outside. Yeah, was slammed. Out the doors and it? after his first year, it just, it just keeps snowballing. Yeah. It's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then he decided to do this food truck thing. Yeah. I thought he was crazy about that too. <laughs> but uh, I, I stopped, uh, stopped second guessing Jeff now. I mean, when he wants to do something, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it right. So. If you wanna get good at something, get around the people that are good at it. So for boxing, I aspire and tend to top 10 pros, heavyweights, and getting in around those in there, the gyms, with the cooking, get online, it's all out there. You know what I mean? Gordon Ramsay taught me quite a bit. It's all on YouTube, so as long as you can put it together, and then you start doing it. Be it the window cleaning, you know, there's always advice you can get from people that have been around a while. So it's just, it's paying attention to those that are doing it well, and seeing what's working, and then just go out there and try and do it better. So this one's the Food Truck Association of America. They go around the country setting these up. This is the first one they've done here, which is obviously, we're looking forward to it. This is a success. We're gonna try and travel around and do all their other events. 
Uh, we do haddock fish and chips, cod fish and chips, which we do properly. So that's, that's the best way to do it. With the burgers, again, the quality of my food, I'm about making money, but not at the cost of the food. So this is where a lot of people go wrong. They'll start trying to, oh, I can get a burger cheaper, I can get this cheaper. Have you tasted the damn thing? You know, they, they don't really care. And again, at events, the attitude is, well, we're not going to see him again. So that's not, well, as far as I'm concerned, if I see you once a year, I want you out there saying that he does great food, you know? And again, that's really how we built such a reputation in such a short time, is just give people good food. They're not stupid, they can taste the difference, and that's why they come back, it's, it's that simple. You know, we haven't got the frills and laces, we haven't got the white tablecloths, but I'm buying the same quality ingredients that a fine dining restaurant will use. The idea is, is I want to franchise everything, so, um, and just trying to work it out a different way. When you're not highly funded or you haven't got enough investors, then I'm trying to come up with a different way to do it. So the idea was I spent a lot more money on this truck than most would with the slide out and making a lot more room in there. And then we've actually rigged it with Cat5 cable so we can put cameras in there all over the place. Um, and we're gonna use it as a training kitchen. Um, and then when we'll do when we sell a franchise, instead of just getting a training manual and someone turning up for a few days to help you, We'll turn up with the truck while you're still doing the build out, train your kitchen staff, train your front of house staff, get the food going, create a buzz for a couple of weeks while you're in the area before they even open their restaurant, and then everybody should hit the ground running. So that way it's a little bit easier to do, and then I can bring the whole operation with them and show them exactly how I want it done. We have a restaurant on Highway 79 South, it's called Eat My Pasty. It is not pasty, those are worn in a different type of establishment. It is Eat My Pasty. So you can find us online, templees.com, and we've also got eatmypasty.com, although we will be rebranding that soon to Templees because people are still mistaking us as a strip club. So I'm gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna have to change the name after all. So we're gonna do that. Um, but eatmypasty.com is still alive. We've got templees.com. Um, and they come see us at a restaurant which is 280 South Arnold in Panama City. And we look forward to seeing you.